Today we are diving into the ARP command in Linux and explore 7 practical examples that you can apply in your everyday Linux operations. So buckle up and let's get started. First, what's the ARP command all about? Well, in Linux, it's your go-to tool for mapping IP addresses to MAC addresses on a local area network or LAN. It's like the translator ensuring smooth communication between devices. It lets you take control of the ARP cache and we will explore just how to do that. Besides, the basic syntax is quite simple. Just use the ARP command followed by the option and then the host name or IP address. Now there are several options you can play with. To explore them, just open the terminal and type in the man ARP command. If you scroll down, you will see all the options listed here. Now without further delay, let's get straight to the examples. Let's start with the basics. Type in your terminal, ARP, and hit enter. You will get a list of IP addresses and their corresponding MAC addresses in your ARP cache. In this context, address denotes the IP address or host name of LAN devices, while HW type represents the network protocol type with Ether indicating Ethernet protocol. HW address is MAC addresses of the devices. The flags mask indicates the ARP cache entry type where C means a dynamically learned entry. Finally, I face denotes the name of the network interface. Now, what if we want to see all the hosts on the ARP cache? It's easy. Just type this command. You will get a comprehensive list, but the columns will not have any headings. The output presents the host name at the beginning, and if the host name is not available, it is represented by a question mark. Following that, the IP address, MAC address, protocol type or HW type, and the network interface details are sequentially displayed. Now, do you want more details? Enable the verbose mode with option V. Press Enter, and you will get additional information about ARP cache entries, skips, and what's found at the end. If numbers speak to you more than names, then try option N with ARP. It shows the ARP cache entries in a numerical format. No host name resolutions, just the raw details. Accidentally invited someone to your LAN? Don't worry, type ARP and find out the unwanted host. For demonstration, I choose the second one here. Now use the command sudo arp d followed by the IP of that host. Hit enter. After that, if you run arp command again, you will see that the host is gracefully deleted from the arp cache. If you need specifics, simply run arp with a option with the IP address at the end. And you will get detailed information about a particular IP address and its MAC address. Finally, if you want to filter using a specific parameter like the network protocol, use the H option with R and specify the protocol such as Ether. This will print out all the hosts that have Ethernet protocol. And there you have it, our deep dive into the ARP command with 7 practical examples. From mapping addresses to managing your ARP cache, you are now equipped to navigate the LAN landscape. If you want more insights about ARP, explore the article and commands in the description below.